day out. I hit my goal weight today for stage weight, and that means I'll be a little bit less tomorrow, which was kind of the ideal situation. We wanted to hit the same weight or be a little bit less, and I'm exactly on track, so really happy. Gonna go run, CVS run, get some body wash and stuff. CVS trip was successful, and now I'm on the hunt for some coffee. Just now getting back to the hotel room with my espresso and Brandon's coffee. He doesn't know I'm bringing him coffee, he's still sleeping. Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling? Great, we're one day out today. One day out. So it's pretty much the end of peak week. What was your weight this morning? Well, my weight for Sacramento was an all time low. It was 123.8. And coach and I set a goal to hit that weight again, if not maybe a little bit under. And today at one day out, I hit 123.6. So it's just a tiny little difference, but it's a difference. And I know that tomorrow when I wake up, I expect to be about 123 even, if not 122.8, because I'll continue to drop water. So excited about that. Yeah. Does the weight you think really matter as much? No, the weight doesn't matter at all. Even if I was 124, Joe wouldn't care. I, you know, shouldn't and wouldn't care. But as a girl, <laughs> when you do hit that low weigh and you're like, yes, even though this doesn't matter, like, no one, no one cares what you weigh on stage as long as you look the way that you need to look. That's why last week when I couldn't drop weight, it's because I didn't have any weight to lose. It's none of the weight that I'm dropping right now, by the way, that is one, not realistic for anyone to try and drop that amount of weight. And two, it's all water weight. Like, the only thing coming off of me at this point is water. So, you know, I don't want you guys to think that I'm over here dropping body fat into peak week. Like I've dropped all the body fat I need to drop. It's just the water that I hold. I hold a lot of water. So you were ready probably a few days. I mean, you've been ready for a while, but yeah. the last little bit coming off, that's more of a mental thing. It just makes you feel better yeah. to see that number go down, even yeah, though it doesn't need to. That's the only reason why I'm like, goal weight. I've been at my goal weight for a while. Like I've been where I need to be. It's just, like I said, as a girl, it's kind of nice to be like, I dropped weight. Yeah. So what are plans for the day? Plans for the day, I went to CVS and got some shampoo and conditioner, and then I went and got myself an espresso and Brandon some coffee, and then we're gonna meet up. Delicious. We're gonna meet up with Joe and Ingrid at their hotel, and Ingrid has to adjust my bikini because the bottoms are massive on me right now. So she's gonna fix that, and then we will go to the athlete meeting as a team, and then I have uh, tanning around, I think like 8 p.m. or so. Good deal. Busy day. Yes. <clears throat> so, expectations. Not necessarily your expectations going into the show, but just like expectations for competitions in general. How are you feeling about all that right now? Expectations in general. Um, I feel like, so through my previous vlogs, I've kind of talked about how I do a lot of visualization and um, I just kind of focus on what I want and what I see happening. Um, but as far as expectations going into the show, um, I look how I need to look. The goals that I set from last year, I've reached. So, you know, it sounds really cliche to say, but I've already won. <laughs> I really have though. Um, I, I feel amazing, I know that I look amazing, and I know very well that I could go into the show and get fourth call out. I, I know that. Um, I also know that I could go into the show and get first call out. So, um, you know, you never know what's going to happen at a show. It doesn't matter if you look better than you've ever looked in your life, you could go and get last call out. That's just how it works, especially at national shows. So as far as, you know, do I expect to get a certain placing? Not at all. Like, if I get any placing, first through fifth, I'm going to be ecstatic. Um, I haven't gotten first call out at a national show since my first national show. So if I did get first call out, I would just be on top of the world already. Yeah. Um, so you really cannot go into a show having expectations because you never know what's going to happen. You never know what other competitor is going to sign up last minute or, you know, even if you're, you know, don't sit there and look at other people doing your show thinking that you can say, oh, I look better than her. Oh, I look better than her. I pose better than her. You can't do that because you never know what they're going to look like on stage, what they're going to pose like on stage. You never know if it's their 20th national show. And whenever I go back and compare pictures, the judges are always right. So don't ever, don't ever go into it with expectations and don't ever come out of a show thinking, what were the judges thinking? Like, that's ridiculous. The judges know what they're doing. They've been doing this for years and they have an eye for what they're looking for. So 
no expectations going to the show as far as that goes. Um, I'm just craving stage time. I'm here, I'm ready to get on stage, and I'm ready to celebrate after. So either way, I'm going to be celebrating. I don't care what happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And keep in mind, like, you already, you've kind of already touched on this a little bit, but every girl doing these national shows has won a regional show or won an overall regional show. They're not just coming in here like everyone wants to win. They're all, yeah. they're all quote unquote in the best shape they've ever been in right. in their life. So it's not like you're walking into a regional show and you're the shredded yeah. most ridiculous looking one there and everyone else you can just tell the difference it's like everyone that walks into that building is going to be ready yeah on a national level you have to realize you know some people will be like oh you have a really you know good shot you just won an overall so did like 50 other girls yeah you know what i mean in my class <laughs> like they all won overalls too so i'm going up against girls that are all amazing athletes so just the fact that i'm here and that i look better than i've ever looked that's an accomplishment. Like to have gone through that prep is an accomplishment and I feel great about it. Um, so, you know, like I said, anything can happen and I'm ready for anything, so. One more day. One day out. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of here. Meal numero uno. Cold fishies. Look at that. <laughs> Fresh caught on the screen. It's actually really good. So after our coffee, we were like, let's go be good little travelers and go explore. And so we went downstairs and walked all around because we're at the Hard Rock, which is like a casino and resort and tons of restaurants, a few like shopping places. So it's like its own little city almost, I guess. Um, so we like walked around and then we went outside to the pool for like uh, probably two minutes <laughs> probably two minutes total and we're like we were hot and exhausted so we came back up here so for a total we were travelers like uh, what am I trying to tourists. say? we're tourists not travelers <laughs> we were tourists for like a good 45 minutes come with me weary traveler <laughs> and then you're so <laughs> and then we decided we were way too tired so it was a really good effort but I'm just gonna relax and I need to shower and shave and do all the like pre-contest stuff um, because we're meeting with Joan Ingrid at four so that's what we're gonna do is just try and relax I am trying to upload that last YouTube video it's literally taken me since last night the Wi-Fi is so slow so right now like nothing is working email nothing it's taking like hours for anything to work so that's about it figured I would fill you guys in hello Hi. I'm eating again. <laughs> Every time I film, it's because he's eating. It's not because, but he's also eating. <laughs> or maybe it is because he's eating. And I want to be like, look at everything he's eating. It's just, like it's just popped rice cakes. I have some for after the show, too. So I'm going to go. Goodbye. I am officially all tanned up and... We checked in, we didn't get our numbers tonight. They're gonna give that to us tomorrow at the athlete meeting. I think they found out that all of us skipped the meeting on purpose, so that's why they're not giving us the numbers until tomorrow. I am officially exhausted, um, really hungry, and I'm excited. I'm ready to go ahead and do this. <laughs> so this is that pre-show life. She got her first coat of tan. She's all bundled up in her black sheet so she doesn't ruin the hotel sheets and blankets. You feeling pretty ready? Mm -hmm. You went and talked to Joe and Ingrid. They have some good stuff to say. Joe said I look really good. Not a complaint, so. When Joe says that kind of stuff, it means a lot. It means a lot. That's all I look for. <laughs> <laughs> I just need his approval. <laughs> and now she has got to focus and, well, Unfocus, I guess. Unplug. Try and get some sleep because she's got to be up crazy early. And make up at six fifteen at another hotel. So I'm gonna get up super early and try and make it over there for that. Try and have to make it over there for that. Yeah, there is no try. You have to do it. Yeah, I'm excited. So everybody wish us luck. Mostly her, but no, him too. We're a unit. So yeah. <laughs> and I guess that's good night. <laughs>